So what's going on guys, Kates here, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll show you top 5 best swimming maps in Fortnite creative mode. In general I researched about 50 to 100 maps and these are the top 5 best ones. So obviously like all of us know, the Fortnite chapter 2 brought a bunch of new mechanics and one of them are that you're able to swim. So with that bunch of new creators made a really unique maps where you can swim while doing parkour, then do a bunch of speed runs, make a bunch of pulls, make free throws in actual swimming, try to play different mini games like 8 players versus a shark, try to make a team that matches, huge death runs and much more. So guys if you were looking for the hardest parkour maps with swimming and just overall maps around water and this new mechanic then this is the video that you've been looking for. So without any further ado let's get right into it. Then going over to the first map on my list is the one and only swimming parkour in an amazing 20 level death run map. So first things first like you can see for yourself basically everything seems the same just the only way to get further down the line and complete every level is to swim. For example in the first level it will be easy and going further the difficulty will of course increase. You'll have to use jump pads, try to dodge poison arrows, swim as fast as possible, set up traps, use gliding and you basically get the drill. This map is really amazing and awesome but on top of all that it's extremely hard. I had to like die and respawn about 50-20 times to actually figure out what I actually need to do to advance to the next level and the map itself is really unique as well you can play it by yourself or with up to 4 players. If you are up for the challenge and want to try this one out then here it is. Then going over to the second map on my list which is my favorite from all of them and it's called the Sea free for all. So in general I really like free for alls. I don't know why I guess not being able to build and having different loadouts to use from is kind of cool. So at the start you can switch to a bunch of teams or you can make it a huge free for all. Each player will get 60 seconds to choose whatever loadout they want. With the new mechanics you just have to step on the block and there will be about 10 to 20 of them. Each one of them will have a different weapons like arrows, pistols, gliding, healing items, AR, shotgun and much more. At the right corner there will be a timer which will give you 10 minutes and a scoring board system. And obviously the main objective is to get as many kills as possible. Cover has the biggest score wins. So you can play either way really aggressively and get as many kills as possible in short time then get into the water and get to the next player or you can just camp on a different island and try to get kills that way. In my opinion this map is really cool because there's a lot of places and a lot of things to go and obviously to get kill to the kill you can use swimming to get and travel around the map faster. The map itself feels like you're actually in a jungle and on top of all that having that loadout feature where you can choose whatever weapon you want in my opinion is amazing and I should definitely recommend for everyone. If this is something you're interested in then check this map out. Then going over to the third map on my list is a swimming race. So you can take up to 16 players and there will be a huge swimming race. Each of the players will have identical challenges and obviously the first player to get to the finish line wins. The challenges and the traps will be really hard so watch out for them. Whenever you die you respawn back to the previous level. The race itself isn't too long nor too short so you can do it multiple times. Try to beat your teammates or just have and get as fast time as possible. Going further down the swimming pool the difficulty will of course increase. There will be as well invisible blocks and radiation trying to eliminate you. But after doing it and trying out like 2-3 times I really got the feel of it. And you have to get past through the next levels and we had a lot of fun. If this is something you're interested in then check this map for sure. And having said that now we have come to one of the last maps which is a cool mini game. And it's called one shark versus eight swimmers. So in general you get eight players and automatically the game itself will choose who is one shark and then all the other swimmers. So the shark will be spawned on the island with a gun and obviously all the other swimmers will be on the sea. The player who becomes a shark has an objective to eliminate all the other swimmers and obviously the other team has to survive as long as possible. So either way the shark team wins by eliminating other enemies or the other team who are the swimmers survive as long as possible. There is a scoring boarding system, automatic oxygen system as well to get refilled health and to kill someone you'll have to hit him twice. 
In my opinion, this is a really cool and amazing mini game, which has that as well swimming effect. So if you want to try this one out, then this is it. So with that said, now we have come to the last map, which is the hardest swimming death run from all of them. This map in general has about 10 to 15 different levels, but each one of them will be extremely hard. Going further down the line, the difficulty will of course increase, but even at the first level, I couldn't complete it. I would recommend for sure to play it by yourself, but if you want to take and race against other players, you can do it as well. But a lot of times when I tried it, the other enemies were triggering traps, making it even harder for me. So if you want an extremely, really hard swimming parkour, then this is the perfect map for you. And with that said, I really do appreciate it for watching and I hope you enjoyed. This was my top 5 list of the best swimming slash parkour maps in Fortnite creative mode. If you're looking for more map codes, then check my channel out and you'll find every single one of them already made. If you have any questions or future video improvements, let me know down below. As well, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like and subscribe to keep up to date with every video that I make which is every single week and while you're doing that enable the notification bell so you would get notified when a new video is up and running. I really do appreciate it for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Cade, you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next video. Take it easy, peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame, though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you, come along